Garfield originated over 45 years ago, with the first comic coming out in 1978. As the funny orange cat and his daily antics grew in popularity, he got movies where he looks like this for some reason, TV shows, some theme park rides, and of course, a ton of merch. Although, as usual with pop culture icons that have been popular for many years, sometimes they go really out there with the ideas, resulting in some very peculiar and sometimes cursed items. Today, we'll be taking a look at the weirdest Garfield items I could find, from funny looking mugs to hauntingly terrifying knockoff plushies and more. And like always in these videos, it'll be split into three parts. Toys slash miscellaneous, technology, and food. First up is food. To be honest, there isn't really that many Garfield themed food items like at all for some reason. First up, there's some fruit snacks from the 90s, and the only photos of the fruit snacks themselves I can find look like this. Obviously, these photos were taken recently, and they've probably been sitting in a box for over 20 years straight. They also made these fruit strips called Fat Cat Funnies that had Garfield comics printed on the fruit strip itself. Although, the only proof of its existence is this commercial from 1991. There's no other photos of them on the internet. There's also another Garfield fruit strip that had little cutouts of the characters. I'm surprised nobody ended up doing like lasagna themed fruit snacks similar to the Krabby Patties from Spongebob. But other than that, there's just some candies like the fish shaped candy where Garfield says got fish on the packaging, some random bubble gums and chocolates, and these things called headbutt candy lollipops. This one really do be going like, <laughs> There's also some weird gumball dispensers. Whoa, uh, are you okay bro? Not gonna lie, this bro's giving me the heebie-jeebies. There's obviously a bunch of Pez dispensers too. Basically every character in existence has a goddamn Pez dispenser. And I I guess cat food technically goes under the food category. This Garfield themed cat food comes in a really cursed container, so I thought I'd mention it. And finally, there's a Garfield themed cereal only released in Mexico that comes in chocolate, fruity, or vanilla. The only other Garfield cereal to ever exist is this one from all the way back in 1985. The only proof of this thing's existence though is this singular picture of a coupon that has a drawing of the box. It apparently came out in raspberry or blueberry and it was produced by Quaker. But other than that, that's literally all we know about this item's existence. For all we know, it might not have even existed at all, as not a single photo of the box has ever been found. Here's a hypothetical recreation someone on Reddit made of the box art. And besides that, not a single other Garfield cereal was ever made. He was occasionally plastered onto cereal boxes for advertising purposes, and there were also many Garfield toys you could find in various cereal boxes. Which moves us on to the next section, Toy Slash Miscellaneous. Every once in a while, there's a Garfield themed toy at the bottom of random cereal boxes. It's always just some random dumb useless item, but the most peculiar scoundrels I could find are the freaking Garfield bike reflectors. Not only do these just look really creepy, but its existence is just so obscure. Out of all things to make Garfield themed, a freaking bike reflector that's specifically attainable by finding it at the bottom of a cereal box. Speaking of finding Garfield items in your food, let's take a look at the many Garfield fast food toys. In 2013, Burger King had a set of Garfield toys, including this goofy on tic-tac-toe board that's just made of Garfield's body. This dingus looks so scrambly! I love him! A few years later in 2016, there was another set of thingamajigs, and my favorites are the Garfield watch, whatever this down the hatch toy is, and the yummy in my tummy toy. Why are they so goofy looking? They also made this really ugly figure in 2004 to promote the live-action Garfield movie, and it just looks so weird. Also in 2006, Wendy's made a Garfield-themed whiteboard. For some reason, there were never any Garfield Hot Wheels, but there were many Garfield-themed die-cast cars made by other companies, specifically Ertl, or however you pronounce that. They kind of just made a few random things like a doghouse car that Odie is riding on, this toy horse that isn't even a car, Garfield driving a Volkswagen with a hat on, and Garfield driving an ice cream stand. But the funniest one is the lasagna truck because his massive head pokes out and his face looks so scary. Every once in a while there was a Garfield themed board game, the first one being this one that's literally just called Garfield. It was released all the way back in 1981 and it's just a standard board game where you roll some dice and move along the path. There's also the Garfield Kitty Letter Games, which is just some kind of spelling game. Garfieldopoly is, you guessed it, a Garfield themed Monopoly game. It came out in 2012, and in this picture you can see the funny Garfield cat cash you use in game and some of the items you play as. An actual official Garfield Monopoly spin off did come out in 2003 as a collector's edition, so it's very rare. As you can see, these are the funny little metal items you play as. Plushies as a merch item are notoriously known for being very easy to mess up, so let's take a look at the weirdest Garfield plushies I could find. This this Rapscallion from 1981 is just a snowman with the head replaced with Garfield for some reason? This is such a monstrosity, why does it
it even exist. There was also a line of Garfield plushies where they replaced his face with emoji faces. Hell no, nah, they zoomerified Garfield. There's also a bunch of these plushies that just have random colors and textures slapped on. Not gonna lie, the flaming green Garfield goes kinda hard. Although the most insane official plushie to ever exist is the limited edition massive five foot tall Garfield plushie released in 2020. Gee willikers, would you look at the size of this thing? Apparently only around seven of them were made and they were auctioned off with the money given away to charity. Normally I don't talk about knockoffs, but this rascal has reached such a legendary status in the Garfield community that I just have to mention it. He is known as the Fat Orange Cat Plush, which is obviously a knockoff Garfield. I don't know when this elusive being appeared into this world and graced us with his legendary presence, but whenever it did, it took over the dropshipping world by storm. Fat Orange Cat Plush quickly rose to the top of every online store, swiftly invading Amazon to the point where you can scroll through almost hundreds of different sellers selling the exact same goddamn knockoff Garfield. Wait a second, this one got dripped though. Wait, is that a floppa cube? As you browse through the infinite copy-pasted fat orange cat plushies, every once in a while you come across one with some extra clothing on. It's like finding a shiny Pokemon or getting a rare NFT. <laughs> Here are all the variants I could find on Amazon. There's him as a chef, a clown, holding a donut, wearing an eye patch, multiple different random Halloween themed ones, a pirate costume, police costume, two witch Garfields, and this one with some nice drip. Personally, I'd call this one something like Swag Garfield or Entrepreneur Garfield, but whoever's selling it just called it Man Cat? I continued to research into this item because it genuinely fascinated me how there were so many of them, and I ended up finding some interesting anomalies in the store page descriptions. One of them has this customer review graphic that not only doesn't have any reviews, just some random pictures of the plushies, but on the bottom left corner there's just a picture of Ed Sheeran for no freaking reason at all? What the devil is this bro doing here? Another description unironically says exquisite details like dimensional eyes and beard help bring this cute and adorable kitty cat to life. First off, what the frick does dimensional eyes mean? And secondly, he does not have a beard. What? It then goes on to say truly a gift from the gods. Oh great heavens, that is a bold statement. And finally, I found this image in a description that completely baffles me to this day. It's just a random screen cap from the terrible live action Garfield movie with this disgustingly ugly text plastered on top that says, OMG, 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 you just ordered this and every moment will be eager anticipation until he arrives. He has already whispered his name to me across oceans. He will be Garfons. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I will be right here waiting for you. Whatever it takes or how my heart breaks, I will be right here waiting for you. I'm genuinely flabbergasted at this, what the frick? By the way, the last few sets of lines are just copy-pasted lyrics from the song Right Here Waiting, which is completely unrelated. But before we move on, it's kind of a meme for people to write really funny reviews about this plushie, so here's a few of my favorites. Favorite little man, he's just a little guy! Friend shaped, horrifying. He is so perfect, yet so disturbing. He watches me while I sleep, but I don't sense any threatening aura from him. I am scared and somehow comforted. Adorable! He appears at the foot of my bed at 3 a.m., but he is very lovely. 10 out of 10. Splendid! But he is an absolute foul house guest. The first day I allow him in, he steals my cigarettes and pees on the floor! I've decided to slam him against the wall, and he is now behaving. Be warned. He is perfection. He loves to do his little dance! <laughs> He's always watching. Once free from his suffocating vacuum sealed prison, he took a deep breath and came to life. Now he sits in silence, always watching my every move. Everything in life has led up to this point. I knew something was missing in my life. I had a void in my heart that seemed eternally empty, wandering through the deep forest of mental isolation. I had no hope for any kind of redemption. Then this arrived on my doorstep. The sun was shining. The stars in the night sky twinkled with an omnipresence of love and tender care. My life was at a point of idle waste, but no more. Not ever again, for this heavenly being has thrown the life preserver into my sea of despair. After reading these reviews, I obviously had to get one for myself, so here he is in his vacuum sealed prison. Let's just get him out of there and revel in his beauty. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep now, but I'm a little unsettled by him, so I'll just set him down on the ground and set up this camera to monitor him. Uh, other polygon donut, I'm tuckered out, so please continue the video for me. Uh, okay, other polygon donut. <clears throat> I also found some plushies of Garfield wearing Garfield slippers. Without any context, it just looks like he's an eldritch being that has an extra head on each leg. There's also a Christmas-themed version wearing Santa slippers. Speaking of slippers, there's many real Garfield slippers you can wear of varying curse levels. These ones are pretty passable, just standard-themed slippers. These ones are a little weirder, but then these geezers look like they're going Arr! 
shirt. I also found these ones where he's wearing a royal outfit that looks pretty cool. These ones are insanely fluffy and look a little bizarre. And finally, there's these two Christmas ones. For the full Garfield fit, you could also wear the classic Garfield onesie that looks so goddamn ugly. Moving on to some more obscurely random Garfield products, we have the terrifying Garfield staple remover. Why did they have to make him so freaking scary looking? Bro looks like he's a goddamn FNAF animatronic. <laughs> I was so flabbergasted at this design, so I originally thought it was custom made, but it's genuinely a real product, as you can see from the packaging. There's also two different Garfield scissors you can get. These ones look really weird, because when you open them, his entire head splits in half. Like, it's cute that the eyes are the handles, but that just makes it so much more cursed. The other one has some 3D details and actually looks pretty cool. The next item, the Garfield Globe, is genuinely one of the coolest items I've seen so far. But then I noticed that when you look closely, for some reason there's a giant Garfield just sitting on the top of the entire Mexico-US border? But this isn't the only random Garfield placement. In fact, the entire globe is covered in Garfields, which is honestly really cool. We've got the Brazilian Garfield, this one in India, the Great Garfield Compass, this one in Australia, the massive Garfield globe sign that floats in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and a surfing Garfield that's surfing around Hawaii. Moving on to some kitchen Garfield items, let's start out with the Garfield teapots. First up is this silly doodad from 2002. I genuinely love this design. It's so creative the way they converted the character into this complex but functional shape. On the other hand, this one is freaking horrible. Not only are most of the details just some line art on the body itself, but they made the face have a flip-up mechanism to pour the water. Also, there's two holes on his pupils that the steam apparently rises up from while it's boiling, which probably looks so cursed. This goofball is definitely the best one, because it doesn't even look like a teapot at all. All the functionality is hidden in the subtle details, such as the tail handle and the fish he's holding pours the water. The only weird thing is that you have to decapitate the back of his skull to pour the water in. This one also has a seamless design, but his face looks a little unusual. And you have to take off the back of his skull again to pour the water in. Obviously, we need some cups to pour our tea in, so let's start out with this Garfield mug. Once again, I just love when they shapeshift the character into the item they're making. It makes it look so beautiful and so cursed at the same time. This one, on the other hand, is just cursed and nothing else. It was apparently sold in movie theaters for the live-action Garfield movie. Although, if you want to look like this, you can use the Garfield Happy Meal mugs from 1987. These just so happen to have 1,000 times the legal amount of lead in the paint, which turns out to be a pretty big health risk, considering that lead poisoning could lead to brain damage or cancer. Jokes aside, if you've drank from one of these before, you're not gonna instantly die. It takes a lot of exposure for it to really be dangerous, but definitely don't use them if you still have them. If you want more information, there's already a whole video about this topic, so link in the description. There's also a bunch of ceramic cups of his head that look really funny. There's a Christmas one, an angry one, a devious one, and an even more devious geezer and more. Speaking of ceramics, there's also the tall Garfield vase. This thing actually scares me because it looks like it could just fall over at any second. There's also a vase where he's climbing a tree trunk and his face looks really strange when you look closely. And the planter is really funny looking because they just turned bro's body into a pot shape. The Garfield cookie jar is pretty cute and the Garfield bowl is a little funky looking. This picture frame is also really unsettling. Why is he just holding his entire stomach open like that? Oh god. But the most cursed Garfield ceramic is the Garfield jack-o-lantern. Since it's meant to be a Halloween decoration, they actually made it cursed on purpose this time. The next item though, I have no clue what they were thinking when making this. This is the Garfield scooter, and it's genuinely one of the worst Garfield products I've ever seen. It's just so wrong on so many levels. Moving on to some furniture items, there's this Garfield mini table that genuinely looks really good. It's got an impressively high quality figure of Garfield as the stand, but then there's the knockoff Garfield coffee table, and this thing is just a mess. Not only does the face look disgusting, the model quality is so ugly and cheap looking, but there's also just this massive tail sticking out for no reason. It wastes so much space and is probably so easy to bump into and knock everything off the table. Another knockoff Garfield furniture item is the Garfield chair. John, take a seat, John. Not only does this thing just look so disturbing, but for some reason, one of the only photos I could find of it has a picture of the 1984 book photoshopped in for some reason. There's also this Garfield armchair, which I'm pretty sure is official because it looks really high quality, but this is the single only image I could find of it on the internet, so I have no clue if it even exists. And I guess the Garfield slumber tent from the 80s is technically a furniture item? Oh uh, yes, I've always wanted to be inside Garfield. But the most legendary Garfield furniture item is the Garfield couch. Now, this item actually has some lore. It was specifically custom made for a single episode in the TV show I Think You Should Leave from 2019. I've never seen the show, but on episode 6, they featured an entire Garfield themed house as a set.
set. When they built the set, they took an insanely high quality 360 image of it that you can check out for yourself. Link in the description. As you can see, there's a custom Garfield themed archway, an OD lamp, an OD chair, and the legendary Garfield couch itself. The whereabouts of the couch is currently unknown, but many have claimed to see it on a few listings online, and eventually this photo of it surfaced. And now, it's finally time to move on to the last section, technology. Starting out with some normal household items, let's take a look at the Garfield lamps. This one is so weird looking. I love how the light just beams down from below his body. This one is much less cursed. It's just a good looking Garfield model with a lampshade on top. And this one is an even better version of the same thing. There's also a Garfield lava lamp where the lamp juts out of his skull. Although the best one is the Garfield fish tank lamp. This thing doubles as a fully functional fish tank and a lamp at the same time. Although when the light is on, only the head glows bright red, which is really unsettling. Also, you're able to take off the head to feed the fish, which is pretty funny. Next, we have the many Garfield clocks of varying degrees of cursedness. With this one, we can check off the putting numbers in the character's mouth, because this always happens at least once in my cursed products videos. This one is kind of cute. This one just goes hard, goddamn. This one is a little cursed looking, and then this one really do be going like, El Mimer. <laughs> Although the worst one is the plushie clock, where they surgically added a clock into his stomach and gave him a terrifying smile. And to make it even worse, they just had to make the eyes glow in the dark just to jump scare you in the middle of the night. This Garfield radio is also really terrifying and has the same goddamn smile as the plushie clock. Why do they need to do this to him? Please stop. We also have the Garfield calculator, where instead of just putting the numbers in his mouth, they put all the goddamn gizmos and gadgets in there. But the most disturbing Garfield mechanism is the vibrating missile. Why does he want to rub me so badly? Please no. On the box, they have an artwork of Garfield using the Garfield massager, which is just so weird to see. The item itself is really funny looking. I love it so much. Next, we have the legendary handheld Garfield game released by Konami in the 90s. Thankfully, the game itself is fully archived online, and someone on Ishtarayo even made a full interactable 3D model of the handheld too. It's a pretty simple game where you jump around to avoid random foods and collect the lasagna from John whenever it's ready. Although, if you want to more modern Garfield gaming item, in 2021, Microsoft did a giveaway for a Garfield-themed Xbox Series S to celebrate Garfield being added to Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. It's kind of a lame design though, they just made an orange, slapped on some liner, and called it a day. Instead of opening loot boxes on your Garfield Xbox, why don't we go all the way and just start full-on gambling with Garfield instead? Here's a few official Garfield slot machines I could find. Also, specifically, the LED signs on top have multiple listings on eBay. I don't know how people got these, but they look like a pretty cool decoration. There's also a few Garfield themed coin operated kitty rides. This is the most iconic one, this one you get to sit next to Garfield in a green car, and this one is a goddamn Garfield rocket ship. Although I'd rather use my coins for Garfield arcade machines, which surprisingly there just isn't any at all. The only Garfield arcade machine I could find is this Chinese knockoff Garfield cart machine, which turned out to be the most surprising rabbit hole I never expected to find. First off, this thing shouldn't even exist at all, because a Chinese version of Garfield cart has never been made. In 2022, someone on the Garfield cart subreddit posted about this machine and ended up creating a Google Doc of every single piece of information they could possibly find about this arcade machine. The document goes on to highlight the differences in the UI we can see in a few pictures. We can tell that they did much more than simply replace some text, as many UI elements have been fully adjusted. In this image, we see a ready go pop-up, which simply doesn't happen in the main game. The machine also features prizes in the middle, so there's some kind of prize redemption system added in as well. Another anomaly is that in 2018, a picture of this machine, but with English English text instead of Chinese text was posted onto Twitter, and the text says coffee cat carting for some reason. To this day, we still don't really know anything about this machine. Nobody has posted about seeing it in real life, and there's never been any gameplay footage. For now, it remains as a mystery to the Garfield cart community, and the only Garfield related arcade machine to have ever been produced. And now, for the final set of products, we have the Garfield phones. First, we have the rectangular ones. This one is really weird because it's just another rectangular phone, but with the most unnecessarily big Garfield case. Case. There's also this one that has a figure of Garfield on the phone on the back of the phone. The laying down Garfield phone has a pretty cool design. There's also this flip phone where the entire thing is this weird model of Garfield with a soccer ball. This is legit the dude that bullied you in PE class. There's a few of these designs where the phone is normal, but Garfield has his paws out to hold it for you. This one is pretty creepy. It's supposed to be a wall phone that looks like Garfield's climbing on the wall with his claws. But the most legendary one is the sleeping Garfield phone. The eyes are usually closed, but whenever you 
take a coal, they snap open, and it looks really creepy. But starting in the 1980s, when this phone was first produced, one day, a few of them were mysteriously spotted on the shore of Brittany, France. They were picked up and thrown away, but he just kept coming back, the stupid smirk plastered onto his face, as if he's mocking us. Every day, for years on end, they just keep coming back, as if they had a mind of their own. Instead of being forced into being a simple product for consumers to enjoy, they had a taste of freedom. The real story is that apparently a shipping container full of these phones ended up getting lodged in an underwater cave and was slowly releasing them for over 30 years straight. It's a funny story, but it's also a major issue as this much plastic floating around in the ocean is a genuine threat to the local ecosystems. John, you can't defeat me, John. I can be whatever I want. A plushie, a phone, a lamp, anything. I am simultaneously everywhere and everything. The power I possess is unfathomable to the human mind. So, if you want your silly little planet Earth to stay intact, make me more lasagna, John. Uh, well that's all the Garfield products I can find for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and comment down below your favorite funny Garfield products. Uh, um, uh, okay, bye.